In the span of a season, Cole Strip's basketball guys have gone from under the radar to main target. Q2's Dan Dragon shows us how. Cole Strip has taken the court 13 times this season. Every game has ended just like this one. In victory. We all thought we were going to be uh, right there in the mix at the top of the, the heap, I think. And, and uh, so it feels good right now. Half the team we've been playing on uh, bar since our sophomore year, freshman year. So like it was we were just waiting on it, you know, and everything kind of clicked this year. So we kind of knew that it was coming. And that feeling has been made possible because the Colts only have one speed. Very fast. The up-tempo style creates havoc on the defensive end, leading to easy buckets on offense. Keep the tempo up and we keep going at them and keep going at them until they finally get fatigued, you know. Finally they slip up somewhere and that's where we get them. Those 32 minutes of hell have worked to perfection. Cole Strip is pouring in 72 points per game while holding the opposition to a measly 51 a night. We have uh, guys that can uh, play the perimeter and play inside and I just think it just gives us a lot of versatility. It really opens up our offensive playbook. We got all seniors, juniors, a bunch of ballers. We we can run, and uh, we just have a lot of like athleticism and people that can score and put the ball in the goal. That veteran leadership is hoping to set a new tradition when it comes to Colts basketball. Colstrip has not won a state title since 2000. That's when they were in Class A. Since moving to Class B, boys in green and gold have always been the hunters. And despite their record in number two ranking in the state, that mindset has not changed. Playing hard every game, every game, not um, underestimating anybody, you know. We come in here and thinking that they're going to be the best team in the state, and that's how we get to play. Their undefeated record proves that this team is really good, but that's not good enough for them. These guys want to be the best. If we win a state championship, you know, we won't get, like, people dogging on us all the time, but, like, you know, it's just, it's just fun. I mean, it'd be amazing, first off, for the school, because we haven't had one forever, but just knowing that you gave it your all this season to get to there and take a state championship, so, yeah, it'll mean a lot. Those are dreams for the future. For now, these guys will listen to the old saying and take it one game at a time. Dan Dragon, MTN Sports.